Hello, All Saints. We are at uh, our last video interview for the Stewardship Campaign. And we were very lucky to have Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Ed Apuzo and Kettle Agent here with us uh, for the very last uh, video interview that we're going to have. And this one is going to be focused on pledging, the reason why pledging is important, and how to pledge. So, uh, welcome guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for asking us. Thank you. We wanted, Jim and I wanted to start off with uh, the first question is, why did you first pledge to a church, any church? And we'll start with you, Ken. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I first pledged to a church because we were coming back to church after being away for a long, long time. And we had a newborn and needed to have him baptized and got to a church. There's a whole story about that. But in any case, um, ingrained in my head was pledging because my father was uh, a deacon in our church growing up in Chicago. And he was also uh, the secretary and the kids, my brother and I and my mom, and we'd all sit around the table and hold the mailings that went out for our small uh, church. And uh, and I, I just knew at an early age how important it was to understand at an early time in the in the year how what were we going to accomplish? What could we accomplish financially? That's terrific. And you, Ed? Uh, I also uh, grew up in a family that uh, attended church on a regular basis, and uh, uh, my father also was very active in fundraising for them. And uh, and then we went overseas, and uh, we were overseas for about twelve years. We came back. Uh, one of our neighbors introduced us to uh, uh, an Episcopal church, and um, we didn't really know anybody uh, because we'd been away for so long, and we were living in Westchester for the first time. And uh, it coincided with the time that they were beginning their stewardship campaign, and they did that by having uh, stewardship dinners. and. Um, so dinner party, that sounded pretty good. <laughs> and uh, we went and uh, we learned about uh, stewardship. We learned about uh, the church and we met uh, just wonderful parishioners. And even when we weren't new, uh, we continued uh, always to go to those dinners. And, and uh, some of our uh, best friends uh, were, uh, were at that. And so it was a, it was a great way to learn uh, uh, how all of that works. That's true. The, the uh, stewardship dinners are terrific, and uh, they will be coming back to All Saints. That's good to hear. Post-COVID. Mm -hmm. Post uh, we would have loved to have done it this time, but the Omicron and everything, Delta and everything else just sort of sideswiped. Mm -hmm. We will get back to those dinners. Mm -hmm. Great. And the All Saints Petty Vodka. That is required to be served. <laughs> Jim? <laughs> well, that was very good. And so then how has your thinking evolved over time to where it is today, for you know, to, so to speak? In other words, how do you think about pledging now versus then? Well, I think that uh, in the beginning, uh, I'm going back many, many years now, and uh, church was in need of, keeping the plant operating. And there was a lot of emphasis put on uh, giving so that uh, maintenance uh, could take place uh, without having to do separate fundraising whenever there was a problem. But uh, fortunately, uh, I've seen it evolve so that a lot of the outreach ministries and the work in the community that is done by uh, our church has uh, uh, rightly so uh, come up in importance uh, as part of uh, as part of stewardship. So uh, so today I think more about uh, what organizations are we going to support as a church as opposed to other issues related to plant. I think that's, 
I agree. Uh, it's uh, it, it's very uh, helpful to me to see that we're putting much more focus on the outreach efforts. Um, there have been great ministries that have all been going on all through the years that I've been here. But you really, you're right, Ed, there was a big focus on making sure we could keep the lights on and the heat on occasionally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but, um, uh, but, you know, it's so important, I think, that all of us understand the importance of pledging as, you know, if we like this community, um, this is a place for us to grow together. Um, whatever you can chip in, it's helpful for the people who are, the vestry, who are charged with really the, the business side of running the operation, um, to understand what we can accomplish, what we can really reach for. And if there's an issue financially, uh, it's better to know it up front than later. Right. So it's important for everyone to, to make a pledge and understand how much you're going to. That's not to say a pledge is going to limit your contribution. At the end of the year, you can always exceed your pledge. Certainly. Certainly. So um, I think you guys touched on it, but just uh, since this is our last video on stewardship, why do you think it's important, besides just receiving funds for the maintenance and for the mission and for our spiritual uh, good work to, to give to the church, why is it also important for people to fill out those pledge cards and let the vestry and the wardens know how much money they can expect to receive, or at least a minimum they can expect to receive for the year? Well, I think, um, you know, as I just said, you have to understand what the potential is. I guess we always try to exceed our potential. Um, but at a, mim at a minimum, um, we want to make sure that when you come to church service, and you will be coming back to church service <laughs> at some time, um, we have uh, the, the driveway plowed in the winter and salt put down, and so you're not going to slip. Um, all of those take funds just to keep the operation running at, at a minimum. And so uh, I think that uh, for budgeting purposes, it's important, just as you have your budget at home, you have fixed expenses, you have flexible expenses, and you know. Well, I think on that budgeting point, yeah. uh, one of the great things about All Saints is our desire to funnel as much money as we can into mission and outreach. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. We're, we're kind of a bare bones church. Right. There's no uh, fancy golden toilets going to be installed anywhere <laughs> here on Proverbs. But to the extent that the vestry um, can, knows how much money they have, then they could use that money earlier in the year uh, for mission and for outreach where there's a need, as opposed to uh, at the end of the year, perhaps, when it's, well, we got to cover everything else, and then we'll put everything, we all the surplus into that. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, oh. yeah. And the, I think the other thing to remember is just as we uh, have to go through a budgeting process, and uh, the, the best thing we can receive is the pledges so we know how much we have to work with. All of those outreach organizations that we want to help support are going through the same thing. That's right. And it's, uh, it's become even more important uh, during uh, the last few years. We've seen uh, the needs of all of those organizations shoot up. Um, I have been more involved with uh, the food pantry uh, in Terrytown and Sleepy Hollow, and uh, uh, their budgeting process was just all thrown out of whack uh, because of COVID. And uh, so uh, we're helping them do a better job if we know how much we're going to be able to donate to them. Very and interesting. We, and Ripple we, effect. We know yeah. that. Yeah, we know That's that. A very good point. We know that because of uh, the amount that that we'll have from our pledges. I think that's a great point too, that um, one of the things that I know that it's important to do and uh, on the stewardship committee we're, we're committed to is giving giving the results of our efforts, you know, 
letting the congregation know that good things are happening, that the money that they are giving is actually producing results. And so one of the things we're trying to get, we're going to try to do this year much more is to say, here's where we are, here are the missions, here are the, the different organizations that we're supporting, and here are the results we're getting. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the community garden, you know. Mm -hmm. We planted the seeds, and now here's what we now we can donate the food to the to mm -hmm. the food pantry. Mm -hmm. But that kind of an idea. Um, I think one of the other one of the other questions everybody wants to know is how do you make your pledge? What's the best way to submit your pledge to the church, and how how should that be done? How does it work? Uh, <laughs> I'll be Vanna. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> This is your pledge card. You're, yeah. you're going to be getting in the mail shortly pledge cards, which has uh, on one side a handy little chart, a commitment card where you can see what percentage uh, of your available income you could pledge towards the, the missions and outreach at uh, All Saints Church. And on the back is your contact information, which is always helpful. Mm -hmm. And uh, so look for that in the mail. Um, if you want, you could. You could bypass this and just send an email with your pledge amount to the church, and we'll have that for the budgeting purpose. Add that to the pool, and um, and once you've done that, uh, you can actually make your uh, donation uh, online, or you can send a check, uh, or if you're driving by, you can drop it off. Or if, or if you go into services, you can obviously drop yes, it. Yes, that's services. right. Once we have number those. Of, I, I, I will point out that with the changes at COVID, uh, a couple of times I've been at church and there's no collection. Right. And so for people who are coming back the first time uh, uh, and coming in person instead of uh, going to the service online, they always ask, can't I give any more? What, what's, <laughs> what's going on here? So um, uh, I, I think that uh, you know, obviously that's uh, another choice. The answer is always yes. The answer, yes, the answer is, always is always yes. yes. <laughs> and it's a good thing if whoever has asked the question knows where the plate is. And, and I know you, you said this is the last video in the series for the stewardship campaign, but there is going to be a special bonus a bonus feature. A bonus video is going to be Tell us more. out to explain in more detail exactly how you can make your pledge a reality by making your payments, um, and, and there'll be a lot more detail coming out in the future. Online, that. right? Online. Realm. So just to summarize some of the stuff, just to make it clear, Father Kevin's going to send a letter out to the congregation shortly, which will include a pledge card in it. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. So to make a pledge, the ideal way is for people to fill out the pledge card and get that back into the church. Right, yes. So mail it back into the church yeah. or come to the church, drop it off, go to it, you know, when we have services you can do that, but we really want to get those in sooner than later. Yes. Uh, the stewardship committee, which uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance <laughs> Kid are both on, mm -hmm. uh, will be calling people who haven't, bro who ha don't, send back their pledge cards just to touch base and, and, and try to uh, see where people are at. Mm -hmm. So if you want to avoid a call from us, <laughs> which most people kind of want to do, I guess. Speak for yourself. Well, that's right. That's why we have you on <coughs> Butch Cassidy. <coughs> yeah. So uh, that's, uh, that's another way that it'll happen. We'll call and please, and please do answer the phone and I'll don't just hang up and say spam, spam, spam. <laughs> it is very disheartening uh, when that happens. And on payments to the church, there is the, you can mail checks in, you could stop by, visit uh, Father Kevin because he gets lonely here sometimes. <laughs> just give him the money or Sarah or uh, the online. The online stuff is really very valuable to the church, uh, not just because it's easy for people to do, but because it's a steady, you can make it a recurring uh, thing. Yeah. So you can just sort of budget, say, okay, I'm gonna do this every month. And historically, and Ed knows this, uh, both you guys know this, one being a warden, one being a treasurer, that the, the giving seasons in the church are seasonal a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you kind of go through that kind of mm -hmm. slow part in summer, 
when Episcopalians uh, take the summer off, apparently, <laughs> and don't come so much. And then, but now, uh, if that's reoccurring, then that helps smooth out the bill, the bill paying process, right. um, and all that, which mm -hmm. is very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jim. No, I just think that's great. I think the the thing with with pledging and also with the with the payments is that people develop habits around that. That's what we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. You know that how you're used to giving and how it becomes part of your your monthly bill paying or however you want to put it but mm -hmm. you're making your contributions on a regular basis and we want to encourage that of course so that people are in that habit and they can well, and then they just have different ways that they can they can make their pledge or they make their their contributions mm -hmm. so all this has been very good thank you so much thanks guys you guys are awesome and thanks for your help here in the stewardship committee and the and the uh, the video you guys are terrific very good you're and, welcome yes <laughs> <laughs> And uh, just one last note, we are going to send, if you missed any of the videos, we are going to send an email after we're done with all this that will have all the videos on it. So you can see the videos of um, Sue Apuzo and uh, Mike and Janice and mm -hmm. Mike and Father. Father Kevin, of course, Come and on. me and all that good stuff. So we're going to have it all in one place and send that out as, uh, as an email blast in the next couple of weeks. Okay, good job. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Realm makes it easy to give directly from your profile. Just click Giving, then Give. Enter the amount you would like to give and select a fund. Give once or set up a recurring gift to donate whenever you'd like. Now, enter your payment information and click Give. A message shows the gift was processed successfully. Click Finish and you're done. Your giving history is available whenever you need to view a list of your one-time or scheduled gifts. And if you've saved your payment information, you can always manage payment methods on this page. Click the More Options icon next to a payment method to edit or remove that account at any time.